Hi, I would like to show you how I have made this uh, list view, view in App Inventor. It's a list view, view with uh, dynamic data. Uh, I have an image here and I have some text and some subtext here. And then I have a button here and over here I have a scroll bar made with uh, canvas. So I can drag this uh, bullet here and then my list view will uh, scroll. So I have uh, nine items here, but I can update and put as many items I would like to, and uh, then uh, my scroll bar here in the, in the right would uh, uh, connect, so how do you say, would uh, determine how many uh, list items there is. So this is, uh, first list item and when we're down here we are at the last uh, list item. So let me show you uh, quickly in uh, App Inventor how I have uh, accomplished this. Uh, you see here my App Inventor um, design view. I have made um, horizontal arrangements here. Um, five uh, five pieces. I'm um, just make my screen scrollable here so you can see. I have five uh, horizontal uh, arrangements here with uh, image and two labels and a button. And these five is contained in a, a vertical arrangement. This this one here. And uh, next to this, I have a canvas. Um, and they are both inside a horizontal arrangement, you can see here. So a horizontal arrangement and two, uh, uh, one vertical arrangement and a canvas. And inside this vertical arrangement I have these five uh, horizontal arrangements. Uh, my canvas, I have put a ball here. You know, uh, in drawing and animation, you have the canvas and you have image sprite, and then you have ball. So I just used the ball here with uh, white paint color, and uh, I've placed it in the middle of uh, my canvas. Uh, and I've put some images in uh, in my images here. Uh, I didn't have to do that because I actually update the images um, in my blog editor. But uh, down here I have uh, uploaded nine images. I could upload uh, more images and uh, then my list view would uh, also have to be updated with uh, more data. Uh, the purpose of this um, Making this uh, list view is, of course, uh, the possibility to uh, to connect to a database where you uh, fetch your data from and then uh, update the list view uh, dynamic. But here in uh, my blog editor, I have made a, this should be called a data. I've made a data block here, a global a vari variable, and I make a list with a list in, and these uh, represent each post in um, in my database, you can say. So I have a description here, my headline, and I have a price, and then I have an image name. So I guess this could also be an image um, URL, um, so you could uh, get the image from, uh, from a server. Uh, then you probably have to uh, uh, make the image container uh, um, and uh, web uh, web viewer instead. So I'm not sure you can put an image uh, from data from the URL, from an URL. Uh, but correct me if I'm wrong. Okay, so here you see when screen one initialize, uh, I call set image and text, and I um, have a parameter called start at index. 
and I start at index one uh, the first time uh, because when when we launch the app, this is index one, and uh, we would like to show the first uh, uh, data item. So let's see what this uh, procedure does. It's over here, and um, set image set image and text start at index, and then I uh, walk through uh, all my um, my image uh, components and my label components. I have a head a headline here and a subtext here, and uh, those I, um, I set the text in here. Uh, I fetch the, the data from my global data uh, list and uh, my index is uh, start at index and then I get uh, first here I get the image name from uh, from index 3 in my list here. You can see this is index 3 in uh, the first uh, list item and my the first uh, index in this uh, list is uh, the headline and the second is uh, subtext. So I fetch for label 1 here, I fetch my headline and for label 2 I fetch my subline. So over in the designer it's this and this one. So I've made this uh, larger font size and black, and this I've made uh, a smaller font size of 12, and I made the color uh, gray. So there's a difference between headline and uh, subtext. And then I go to uh, image 2 down here, and I get... Uh, I, I, add one to my start index, so I, I will reach uh, the second uh, list item. And, and uh, so I also do with uh, two labels. And uh, this I do with all five uh, images and uh, all ten labels. So this is all there is in, uh, in this procedure. But uh, the, the, the Important thing is this start at index because when I scroll uh, with uh, with the canvas or with the ball, you can see here the ball here. When I scroll this, I just demonstrate. I scroll, um, then the index will uh, uh, increase one each time I. Uh, get uh, one-fifth of the length of this. So you see it updates and it scrolls. Um, so the start index here, with, if I'm up here, now the start index is 1. And here the start index is 2. So you can see here, when I, I drag my canvas, it say here canvas 2, I only have one canvas, but uh, it's because I had another, I deleted. Uh, but when I drag the canvas, uh, I move the ball, uh, the, the distance I've dragged, so I don't have to drag on the ball, uh, I just drag uh, some uh, random place on the canvas. And then I... Um, I find the new uh, index by dividing the the index uh, or the position of the ball with the height height of the canvas, um, and I multiply it with the the length of my list minus four because I don't want to reach the 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 last index because then I would uh, have an out of index uh, bounds because I, I show the last uh, four, one, two, three, four items. So I have to stop before I get to the bottom. And then I, I round this, uh, this uh, float uh, to an integer and uh, 
then I will have my next index or my next start index. And uh, if the index is zero, I uh, I uh, set it to one. And then I call my set image and set and text here with uh, my new uh, dragged index. So I'll, I'll go here and then I update my images. So this is uh, all there is in this. So I could uh, put more uh, items in here um, and then uh, I have I've made no magic numbers, only this 4 here, because I have a, f uh, a fixed value of 5 um, uh, five posts I can show uh, all in all. Uh, let me demonstrate for before I stop uh, how it works. So you uh, just drag here and uh, you get a scrolling uh, effect, effect in my simulated list view here. The next thing would be to find a way to know which um, item is at the place here and then the bottom would uh, go to a new page with uh, more information about this uh, piece of jewelry. So thank you, I hope you can uh, Use uh, this uh, little video. Bye.